WordPress as we know it is about to change in a very big way. And before that happens, it's important that you know what's changing, how these changes will impact you, and most importantly, how to get ready. Let me introduce you to the new content creation and editing experience in WordPress, codenamed Gutenberg. When you create or edit a post or page, this new version of WordPress will give you a whole new level of control over every piece of content, enabling you to create visually compelling content for your website. All of this is made possible thanks to the introduction of content blocks. Here are the three things you need to know. Number one, everything in the editor is now a block. When you write an article, it's easy to think of all the text and images and other media in that article as one single blob of content. But that also means the content is relatively inflexible and visually dull. The WordPress block editor quite literally breaks apart that whole idea by treating each individual piece of content within the post or page as its own block with its own unique properties. That means you can select the paragraph and give it a drop cap or some bigger font, maybe a background color and change the text color as well. And when you do, it only applies to that one block you're working with. It means you can change the properties or type of any block inline right in the editor. It means you can select an image or an image gallery or any other content and align it left or center or right. Or if the theme supports it, now align it wide or full width to take up more space. It means you can click anywhere within your content, click on the plus button, and then choose from a long list of rich blocks to add anywhere within your content. And finally, once you have blocks, it means you can move those blocks around within your content to reorganize your content without having to cut and paste. Which brings us to number two. Every block has unique properties and abilities. The WordPress block editor gives you two contexts to work within. The post or page context for the whole view and the block context for each individual block. In the post or page context, you'll find all the classic controls for your content, from categories and tags to featured images, etc. In the new block context, you'll find controls for each individual block, giving you full control over every aspect of your content. Each block also has inline controls for alignments and block types that surface when you hover over it, and a context menu where you can edit the block as HTML, duplicate it, convert it to a shared block so it can be used in several different places across your site and also transform a block into another type of block. And finally, number three, blocks are just the beginning. Right now, Gutenberg is a WordPress block editor. That's just step one though. Once the new block editor for WordPress ships in WordPress 5.0, work begins on expanding this block concept from the editor to the customizer and eventually the whole view. Over the next couple of years, the idea of posts and pages in WordPress will evolve into something entirely different. Rather than posts and pages, we'll create collections of blocks to be configured to fit whatever requirements the content author and visitor have. The next version of WordPress is just around the corner. And now that you've seen what's coming, I'm sure you're itching to try it out for yourself. And you can. Just go to the WordPress admin panel, Select Plugins and Add New. Make a search for Gutenberg. And install and activate the Gutenberg plugin. Once the Gutenberg plugin is up and running, go create new content with a WordPress block editor, find ways it can improve your content creation process, and provide feedback to the development team. The next version of WordPress is waiting for you.